high. There are three main areas to every journal, and I've color-coded them for you. There's the active current journal in yellow. There is the saved current journal in blue. And then there is the restored journal. Here's the way it works. Every time a row is changed, inserted, updated, deleted, it will be copied to the journal in the active current journal area, row by row. Then, usually at the end of the day or at any time, when the DBA says, I want a checkpoint with save, it's going to then copy that over to the saved current journal and then delete that active yellow area. They can then copy this to any tapes. Anytime they need to do any restores, they're going to take those tapes, copy it to the restored journal, and there they'll do a roll forward or roll back to any point in time. That's how things are done. Let's see this in slow motion. Again, we have our active current journal in yellow. Every time a row is changed that's been journaled, it's going to go there row by row. Then, when the checkpoint with save is initiated, they will then copy that to the saved current journal, and then the yellow is wiped clean. Active is now space released. That's the way it's going to work every time. You can then copy the saved current journal to your tapes and then manually say, I want that deleted also. The roll forward replaces a data row by its after image from the beginning of the journal to either a checkpoint or to the end of the journal. Roll back replaces a data row by its before journal image from the end of the journal to a checkpoint or to the beginning of that journal. Deletes, deletes the contents of either the saved or restored journal areas. Before you can actually delete the journal, you must first use the alter table statement to stop the journaling being done to that journal. When deleting a permanent journal, you must use the modify user or modify database statement. Some great advice for maintaining the permanent journals. Checkpoint all journals with save. Archive the journal tables. Delete the saved journals. Archive each day. Perform all AMP archives weekly or monthly. Remember that a permanent journal is time-oriented, not transaction-oriented. Journal tables or databases are restored first. Next, archive journals are restored one at a time, and then the restored journal is rolled forward. Recovery using the permanent journals is done in this manner. Submit an SQL checkpoint statement as the first statement of a batch job with or without a checkpoint name. A checkpoint name makes things easier later if you need to recover, but it is not mandatory. If required, roll back to the checkpoint using either the checkpoint name or the event number supplied by the DBC when you executed the checkpoint command. Later, changes are also handled with a back out. The data table is now in its original condition. And as you can see here, we've actually got the ASF2 commands you can use. Here's a great query that uses the concatenate or double pipe symbol to show all tables that are journaling and the journals in which they belong. Notice it's from dbc.journals. That is a system table. They actually call that the data dictionary directory. The dbc.journals view has four different columns. Tables underscore db displays the name of a database where a table resides that has a journal option activated. There's the table name. Displays the name of a data table that records changed images in a journal table. Journals db displays the name of a database where a journal table resides. 
and journal name displays the name of a journal table associated with a listed data table. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza Teradata or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With TerraTom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.